Hello everyone and welcome back to acting. This week what we are going to focus on is a different part of the acting experience that you're going to need to use quite often and that is your ground plan. A ground plan is something that you need to help create the visuals of your imaginary world within the given circumstances of your play. Because often you're going to be acting at home or you're going to be acting in a studio or a sound stage or some place that is not the actual set of your production. But a ground plan helps you set up things so that you are still living in the world of your play and it's going to help you feel comfortable within the environment that you're in. But what is a ground plan? How do you set one up and how can it help your acting process? Well, we're going to go over all of that. So let's get started. Every scene that you act in within a film or a play is going to have its own unique setting. But often, you are not going to be able to rehearse in that setting. You're going to have to rehearse at home or at a space that is not in that location because your team who's building that set needs all the time that they can have to complete it. So often you're not going to know what that space is going to look like, but you'll know how a rough layout of the room will look. This is what a ground plan is. A ground plan is a visual representation or a drawing of where all of the furniture and the placement of that furniture will be in the space that you're in. It's going to show you where the entrances and the exits are. It's going to show you where big, large scale pieces of furniture will be. So if you have a table and chairs or playing areas, if you have a kitchen and a dining room and a living room or stairs, it's going to show you where each of those things are. It's also going to give you the dimensions of those things. So you're going to know if you have a large couch or a small couch. And what your ground plan does is it allows you to understand what world you're going to be operating in and here's its biggest gift. It's going to allow you to set up furniture in whatever space you're in exactly the same way as it's going to be on the actual location you're going to be performing in. And what that does is it gives you multiple runs at figuring out how you would interact with this environment. If you don't do this, what's going to happen is you're not going to feel comfortable once you're in this location and you're going to be acting standing still because you're going to be too afraid to move because it's a rented space. You don't have command of this space you, because there's also no connection with it. You're just now figuring out where all of this furniture is coming from. But if you've worked with your ground plan and you've rehearsed with furniture placed exactly the same way, there's a freedom that you're going to feel. You're going to know exactly when you have to go to the kitchen to grab a, to grab a glass. You're going to know exactly where to go. If someone has to go to the bathroom, you're going to know exactly where they're going to go. If you're going to go sit on the couch, you'll know when and where. All of those things are going to be familiar to you. And that ease you're going to have and the command of the space you're going to have is what you're going to get out of it. But first, you have to create it. So what you need to do is with your partner, you're going to read your scene. And if you haven't read the whole play, you need to read your entire play. You need to know what world you're kind of operating in. And then together, you and your scene partner are going to draw out the room. Start with the walls or the space, right? Start with the stage. Draw out your stage and figure out where your audience or your cameras are going to be sitting. Once you have that figured out, then figure out how many locations it's actually happening in. Is it happening in a car in a street? Is it happening in a house? If so, what is visible in the house? Is it happening in an apartment? Great. Well, if it is, is it one room of the apartment or are we seeing all of the different parts of the apartment? You get to choose that. And then you're going to draw them out and talk about it together and make sure that nothing is blocking your audience's view. So let's say you have a couch placed, but the television is right in front of an audience member. Well, what you may want to do is erase that and move it and shift your ground plan so that your audience can still see you 
and they don't have something blocking that view. What you're going to do is create the world of your play so that you can then rehearse your scene together and both of you are living in the same world. That's what you want. All of this is an illusion. It's not real. It's a fake, those aren't your words, right? That's, these are fake words, these are fake clothes, they're costumes, that's not a real gun, this is not a real house. But it becomes more real the more familiar you get with it. What you want to do is own the space that you're in. And it all starts with your ground plan. So what you're going to do is with your partner, you're going to read your scene, read your play, and together you guys are going to draw and create your ground plan. You're then going to upload that ground plan so that I can see it. Now both of you need to be uh, have the same sketch. Now it doesn't have to be like copy and pasted, but you both need to draw out and both be living in the same world. It needs to be something that you are creating together. If just one of you is, believe me, it's going to show because one of you is going to have command of the scene and the other person is going to look like a fish out of water. They have no idea where they are and everything's going to be a surprise. So what you need to do is work together to create the world that you will be inhabiting. All right, everyone, I can't wait to see what you guys give me and I'll see you soon.